turn of the 21st century, Bobby Labonte became a Sprint Cup champion. It was during that time that he helped put Joe Gibbs Racing on the map. In 2006, he left the team with 21 wins and finished top 10 in points in seven of 11 seasons. The next move for Labonte was Petty Enterprises, where he drove the famed number 43 Dodge. After just three years, he left the Petty organization for Hall of Fame racing in 2009. And since that point, Labonte has jumped around between a few different rides, piloting cars for TRG Motorsports, Robbie Gordon Motorsports, James Finch's Phoenix Racing Cup team, and Stavola Labonte Racing. But things are different now for the veteran who enters his 20th year in NASCAR's Premier Series. Labonte is locked in for a full season with JTG Doherty Racing in the number 47 Toyota. This past weekend, the Texan came close to his first cup win since 2003, finishing fourth in the Daytona 500. And over the course of uh, his 20 years in the Spring Cup Series, Bobby Labonte has amassed over 600 career starts. In fact, he'll make his 618th consecutive start at Phoenix on Sunday. The streak is second among active drivers behind Jeff Gordon. And Bobby Labonte is with us. Now, before we talk Phoenix, I want to go back to Daytona because a fantastic finish for that 47 car. Can you talk us or walk us through that last, basically the last uh, mile or so of the race? Yeah, I've thought about that one for quite some time, obviously, since Sunday afternoon. And, uh, you know, me pushing Trevor was my best bet, obviously, and, you know, really glad that he and the Wood Brothers were able to pull off this victory here. But, uh, you know, we were going to try to win our, you know, our best chance was going to be off of turn four a little bit uh, on the straightaway there. And, you know, here comes Carl and uh, Dave, and they just had such a head of steam that, you know, I was hoping that they would lose a little bit of momentum or something like that. And my spotter, David Green, was telling me where they were, but they came up on me so fast, I thought if I moved up a little bit, I wouldn't give them enough room to go low. They'd have to go high and break some momentum because that's what it's all about. And it just didn't work out, you know, but if I'd have stayed low, they'd have gone the outside maybe, who knows. But, um, you know, I, we gave it our best shot, didn't uh, crowd him a little bit, you know, but he didn't let off enough. And Carl said afterward, he says, I was about 88% sure I was going to make that. <laughs> I said, 88%. Yeah. I was like, you know, I, I wanted to give you enough, but hope that you'd think differently but because it would hurt you worse than me. But, again, it was a great run for us. Uh, you know, everybody did a great job all week long and, you know, glad to come home with a, a top five finish there, obviously. And, um, you know, they uh, everybody at the race shop, uh, JTG Doherty Racing, is excited about that and, you know, got us some momentum going. So that, that's really important. Tad Geschichter is one of the owners of the race team, and, and he told me at the end of last season that he was so thrilled to have you at, with that organization. Um, is making the chase a reality? I mean, you've, you've moved around a little bit over the past few years. Do, do they have all the ingredients you need? If they don't have any more races to race 28, 27, we're in, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think they do. I mean, I really do. I, I do believe that. I mean, I know that they've got uh, a lot of great equipment there at MWR Racing. We're, we're associated with them. Um, great people. Everything's, you know, everything's in place. Obviously, there's a lot of clicking and this and that, you know, to make things work. Um, and we're in, we just got through with race one. We got a lot of races to go. Uh, but yeah, I do believe so. And I'm really excited about that. I mean, I feel like this is a great opportunity, a great chance. And, uh, you know, looking forward to, to obviously going to Phoenix this weekend and, and, and then on for, for a lot of, a lot of races to try to get to race 26. Cause I do believe that we do have a shot at it if we do the things right. And we just have to mold that into place as we go. Every racer just wants to know they have a shot to win. Oh, of course. Uh, and, do, and do you feel that way? Yeah, I do now. I mean, I, I know these guys have got uh, a lot of the equipment like we talked about, and uh, we've got experience, we've got youth, we've got this, we've got that. And, you know, if you just mold it all in the right place with the right people, I think we got the, the right opportunity. And it's the attitude that we make about it, you know, every weekend that we go. And, uh, you know, I feel like uh, everybody there is, is, has got uh, that attitude right now to, to do that. And whether it's a good week or a bad week, you know, I, I hope that we can, you know, um, um, give thanks in the right way and then rebound if we have a bad weekend, you know? So, um, yeah, I mean, I feel confident in it. The follow-up to that is this game, this sport is so mental. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we all have to have the same equipment, yeah. but it is mental. And I guess what I'm saying is, is your confidence as, as good as it's been in a long time? It, it is. I mean, uh, even before we ran the Daytona 500, uh, you know, going into the week, going into the wintertime, uh, knowing that we'd been testing, we'd have equipment, 
uh, you know, not every weekend you're going to finish fourth. You'd like to, but um, you know, we, we hope that we can you know avoid the accidents, avoid this, avoid that, make the best of our opportunities that's presented to us, and uh, do the right things for you know our sponsors, our race team, everybody there to be proud of what we can do and just do the best we can. Bobby, we're going to have a little fun now. I know you're one of the most famous parrot heads in the garage. A long list of Jimmy Buffett hits. I, I, I circled my top three. Can you pick your top three? Well, and by the way, before you answer, are you look at that list. You gave my wife a hundred dollars several years ago to buy beers yep. at a concert. Yep. She still owes you money. Yeah. I yeah. don't. Ha I don't have it. Yeah, I know it. I know. I, I'm not, I wasn't sure what happened on that one. I, I talked to somebody about that the other day, actually. So <laughs> I'd have to say. Um, uh, I think margarita. No, cheeseburger in paradise, probably. Is that number one? Yep. Okay. And fins would be number two. And uh, changes in latitudes, changes in attitudes would be number three. I went son of a son of a sailor, number three. A pirate looks at 40, number two. And volcano, a, a surprise number one for me. Well, hey, it, I was actually listening to Jimmy on the way down here. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> hey, great job on a great start and best of luck at Phoenix. Thank you. Thanks for joining.